uh, nihilism or nihilism. From the Latin nihil, nothing, is the philosophical doctrine suggesting the, the negation of one or more uh, putatively meaningful aspects of life. Most commonly, uh, nihilism or nihilism is presented in the form of existential uh, nihilism, which argues that life is without objective meaning, purpose, or intrinsic value. Moral uh, nihilists assert that uh, morality does not inherently exist, that any established moral values are abstractly contrived. Uh, nihilism or nihilism, nihilism, nihilism or nihilism can also uh, uh, take epistemological or ontological metaphysical forms, meaning respectively that in some aspect knowledge is not possible or that uh, reality does not actually exist. The term is sometimes used in association with anomie oh, to explain anomie to explain the general mood of despair at a perceived pointlessness of existence that one may develop upon realizing there are no necessary norms, rules or laws. Movements such as futurism and disconstruction, among others, have been identified by commentators of nihilistic uh, at various times in various contexts. Um, nihilism or nihilism is also a characteristic that has been ascribed to time periods. For example, Jean Baudrillard and others have called postmodernity, uh, postmodernity, modernity, uh, uh, nihilistic. Uh, epoch, and some Christian theologians and figures of religious authority have asserted that postmodernity and many aspects of modernity represent a rejection of theism, and that rejection of their theistic doctrine entails uh, nihilism or nihil nihilism or nihilism. Um, uh, forms of nihilism. Um, metaphysical nihilism. Metaphysical nihilism is the philosophical theory that there might be no objects at all. That's that there is a possible world in which there are no objects at all, or at least that there might be no concrete objects at all. So even if every possible world contains some objects, there is at least one that contains only abstract objects. Uh, an extreme form of metaphysical nihilism is common, commonly defined as the belief that nothing is e exists as a correspondent component of the self-efficient world. One way of interpreting such a statement would be it is impossible to distinguish existence from non-existence as there are no objective qualities and thus a uh, reality that one state could possess in order to dis discern or to discern between the two. If one cannot discern or discern existence from its ne negation, uh, then the con concept of existence has no meaning, or in other words, does not exist in any meaning meaningful way. Meaning in this sense is used to argue that as existence has no higher state of reality which is arguably its necessary and defining quality. Existence itself means nothing. It could be argued that uh, this belief once combined with epistemological uh, nihilism or nihilism leaves one with all uh, with an um, all-encompassing nihilism uh, in which nothing can be said to be real or true as such values do not exist. A similar position can be found in solipsism. However, uh, in this uh, viewpoint, the solipsist affirms, whereas the nihilist would uh, deny the self. Both these positions are forms or, of 
anti-realism or anti-realism. Epistemological nihilism, nihilism of an epistemological form can be seen as an extreme form of uh, skepticism in which all knowledge is denied. Um, Muriological nihilism, muriological nihilism, also called compositional uh, nihilism, is the position that ob objects uh, with proper parts do not exist. Not only objects in space, but also objects existing in time do not have any temporal parts. And only basic building blocks without parts exist. And thus the world we see and experience full of objects with parts is a product of human misperception. Uh, that's it. If we could see clearly, we would not perceive compositive objects. This interpretation of existence must be based on resolution, the resolution uh, with which humans can see and perceive the improper parts of the world is not an objective fact or reality, but is rather an, an implicit trait that can only be Qualita qualitatively or quali qualitatively explored and expressed. Therefore, there is no arguable uh, way to surmise or measure uh, the, the, the validity of meriological nihil nihilism. Example, an act can get lost on a large uh, cylindrical object because the circumference of the cable is so large with uh, respect to the ant that the ant effectively feels as though the cable has no curvature. Thus the resolution which, uh, with which uh, the ant views the world it exists within is a very important um, determining factor in how the ant experiences uh, this within the world feeling. We humans once believed the world was likely flat and planar. Existential nihilism. Oh, existential nihilism is the belief that life has no intrinsic uh, meaning or value. With respect to the universe, existential nihilism posits that a single human or even the entire human species is insignificant without pur purpose and unlikely to change in the to totality of existence. The, meaning, uh, the meaninglessness of life is largely explored in the philosophical school or existentialism. Moral nihilism. Moral nihilism, uh, also known as ethical nihilism, is the meta-ethical meta view that morality does not exist as, as something inherent or to objective reality. Therefore, no action is necessarily preferable to any other. For example, a moral nihilist uh, would say that uh, killing someone for whatever reason is not inherently right or wrong. Otherwise, in simple terms, a lack of a moral system. Other nihilists may argue not uh, that there is no morality at all, but that if, if it does exist, uh, it is a human construction and thus artificial, wherein any and all meaning is relative for different possible outcomes. As an example, if uh, uh, someone kills someone else, such a nihilist might argue that killing is not inherently uh, a bad thing or bad independently from our moral beliefs because of the way morality is constructed as some rudimentary dichotomy. Uh, what is said to be a bad thing is given a higher negative weighting uh, than what is called good as a result. Killing the individual was bad because it did not let the individual live, which was arb arbitrarily given a positive weighting in this way, a moral uh, nihilist believes that all moral claims are false. Uh, an alternative scholarly perspective is that moral nihilism is a morality in itself. Cooper writes, in the widest sense of the word morality, moral 
nihilism is a morality. Uh, polit political nihilism. Political nihilism, a branch of nihilism, follows the characteristic nihilistic rejection of non uh, rationalized or non proven assertions. In this case, the necessity of the most fundamental social and political structures, such as government, family, and law. The nihilist movement in, in the 19th century, Russia ex, uh, espoused a similar doctrine. Political nihilism is rather different from other forms of nihilism and is generally uh, considered to be more like a form of utilitarianism and influential analysis of political nihilism is presented by Leo Strauss. History, 19th, the 19th century. The term nihilism was first used by Friedrich Heinrich Jacobi, 1743-1819. Jacobi used the term to characterize rationalism and in particular Immanuel Kant's critical philosophy in order to carry uh, out a reductio ad absurdum according to which all rationalism, philosophy or criticism reduces to nihilism and thus it should be avoided and replaced with a return to some type of faith and revelation. Brett the W. Davis writes for example the first philosophical development of the idea of nihilism is generally ascribed uh, to Friedrich Jacobi who in a famous letter criticized Fichte's idealism as falling into nihilism. According to Jacobi, Fichte's uh, absolutization of the ego, the absol absolute uh, uh, that posits the not I, is an inflation of subjectiv sub subjectivity subjectivity that denies the absolute transcendence of God. A related but oppositional concept is fideism, which sees reasons as hostile and inferior to faith. With the popularizing of the word nihilism by Ivan Tur Turgenev, a new Russian uh, political movement called the nihilist movement adopted the term they supposedly called themselves nihilists because nothing that then exists found favor in their eyes. Kierkegaard, Soren Kierkegaard, 1813-1855, posit, uh, uh, posited an early form of nihilism which he referred as leveling. He saw leveling as the process of su uh, suppressing individuality to a point where the individual's uniqueness becomes non-existent and nothing meaningful in his existence can be affirmed. Leveling at its maximum is like the stillness of death where one can hear one's own heartbeat, a uh, stillness like death into which nothing can penetrate in which everything sinks powerless. Uh, one person can head a rebellion but one person cannot head this uh, leveling process for what would make him a leader and he would avoid being leveled. Each individual can in his little circle participate in this leveling but it is an abstract process and leveling is abstraction conquering individuality. Soren Kierkegaard, the present age, translated by Alexander True with forward by Walter Kaufman, page 15 to 53. Page 51 to 53. Kierkegaard, an advocate of a philosophy uh, of life, generally argued against leveling and its nihilist consequence, although he believed in it would be genuinely, genuinely a, educative to live in the age of leveling because people will be forced to face the judgment of leveling alone. George uh, Kotkin asserts Kierkegaard was against the standardization 
and leveling to belief, both spiritual and political, in the 19th century, and he opposed tendencies in mass culture to reduce the individual to a cipher of conformity and deference uh, to the dominant opinion. In his day, tabloids like the Danish magazine Corsarin and the apostate Christianity were instruments of leveling and contributed to the reflective apathetic age a pathetic age of 19th century Europe. Kierkegaard argues that individuals who, who can overcome the leveling process are stronger for it and that it represents a step in the right direction towards becoming a true self. As we must overcome leveling, Herbert Dreyfus and Jane Rubin argue that Kierkegaard's interest in an increasingly nihilistic age is in how we can recover the sense that our lives are meaningful. Note, however, that Kierkegaard's meaning of nihilism differs from the modern definition in the sense that uh, for Kierkegaard, leveling led to a life lacking meaning, purpose, or value, whereas the modern interpretation of nihilism posits that there was never any meaning, uh, purpose, or value to begin with. Nietzsche. Nihilism is often associated with the German philosopher Friedrich, Friedrich Nietzsche, who provided a detailed diagnosis of nihilism as a widespread phenomenon of Western culture. Though the notion appears frequently throughout Nietzsche's work, he uses the term in a variety of ways uh, with a di different meanings and connotations, all negative. Karen Carr describes Nietzsche's characterization of nihilism as a condition of tension, as a disproportion between what we want to value or need and how the world appears to operate. Uh, when we find out that the world does not possess the objective value or meaning that we wanted to have or have long since believed it to have, we find ourselves in a crisis. Nietzsche asserts that with the decline of Christianity and the rise of philosophical decadence, nihilism is in fact characteristic of the modern age, though he implies that the rise of nihilism is still incomplete and that it has yet to be overcome. Uh, though the problem of nihilism becomes especially explicit in Nietzsche's notebooks published posthumous, posthumously, it is mentioned uh, repeatedly in his published works and is uh, closely connected to many of the problems mentioned there. Nietzsche characterized nihilism as emptying the world and especially human existence of meaning, purpose, comprehensible truth or essential value. This observation, observation stems in part from Nietzsche's perspectivism or his notion that knowledge is always by someone of something. It is always bound by perspective and it is never mere fact. Whether there are interpretations through which we understand the world and give it meaning. Interpreting is something we cannot go without. In fact, it is something we need. Uh, one way of interpreting the world is through morality as one of the fundamental ways in which people make sense of the world, especially in regard to their own thoughts and actions. Nietzsche distinguishes a morality that is strong or healthy meaning that the person in question is aware that he constructs it himself from weak morality where the interpretation is proje uh, projected on to something ext external. Regardless of its strength, morality presents us with meaning whether this is created or implanted with help, uh, with helps us get through life. Nietzsche discusses Christianity, one of the major topics in his work and length, 
in the context of the problem of nihilism is his notebooks. In a chapter entitled European Nihilism, here he states that the Christian moral doctrine provides people with intrinsic, intrinsic value, belief in God, which justifies the evil in the world, and the basis for objective knowledge. In this sense, in constructing a world where objective knowledge is possible, Christianity is an antidote against the primal form of nihilism, against the despair of meaninglessness. However, it is exactly the element of truthfulness in Christian doctrine that is its undoing in its drive towards truth. Christianity eventually finds itself to be a construct which lead, uh, leads to its own dissolution. It is therefore that Nietzsche states that we have outgrown Christianity not because we lived too far from it, rather because we lived too close. As such, uh, the self-dissolution of Christianity constitutes yet another form of nihilism because Christianity was an interpretation that posited itself as the interpretation. Nietzsche states that this dissolution leads beyond skepticism to a distrust of all meaning. Stanley Rosen identifies Nietzsche's concept of nihilism with a situation of meaninglessness in which everything is permitted. According to him, the loss of higher metaphysical values which existed in contrast to the base reality of the world or merely human ideas give rise to the, the idea that all human ideas are therefore valueless. Rejection of idealism thus results in nihilism because only similarly transcendent ideals would live, would live up to the previous standards that the nihilist still implicitly holds. The, the inability of Christianity to serve as a source of valuating the world is reflected in Nietzsche's famous aphorism of the madman mad in, in, the, in the, the gay science. The death of God, in particular, that the, the statement that we killed him is similar to the self-dissolution of Christian doctrine. Due to the advances of the sciences, uh, which for Nietzsche show that man is the product of evolution, that earth has no special place among the stars, and that his history is not progressive, the Christian notion of God can no longer serve as the basis for a morality. One such reaction to the laws of meaning is uh, what Nietzsche calls passive nihilism, which he recognizes in the pessimistic philosophy of Schopenhauer, Schopenhauer's doctrine, which Nietzsche also refers to as Western Buddhism, advocates uh, separating oneself of will and desires in order to reduce suffering. Nietzsche characterizes this ascetic attitude as a will to nothingness, whereby life turns away from itself as there is nothing of value to be found in the world. The mowing away of uh, all value in the world is characteristic of the nihilist, although in this the nihilist appears to be inconsistent. A nihilist is a man who judges uh, of the world as it is that it ought not to, to be and of the world as it ought to be that it does not exist. According to this view, our existence, action, suffering, willing, feeling has no meaning. The pathos of, uh, of in vain is the nihilist pathos. pathos. At the same time as pathos, an inconsistency of the part of the nihilists. Friedrich, Friedrich Nietzsche, KSA 12960, taken from the Will of, uh, to Power, section 585, translated by Walter Kaufman. 
Nietzsche's relation to the problem of nihilism is a complex one. He approaches the problem of nihilism as deeply personal, stating that this predicament of the modern world is a problem that has become conscious in him. Furthermore, the emphasis he uh, emphasizes he emphasizes school, sorry he emphasizes both this, the danger of nihilism and the possibilities it offers as seen is the statement that I praise I do not reproach nihilism's arrival I believe it is one of the, the greatest crises the moment of the deepest self-reflection of humanity what whether man uh, recovers um, from it uh, from it whether whether he become master of this crisis is a question of his strength according to Nietzsche it is only when nihilism is overcome that a culture can have a true foundation upon which to, to thrive we wished to ha hasten its coming only so that he could also uh, hasten its ultimate departure he states that there is at least the possibility of another type of nihilist in the wake of Christianity's self-dissolution one that does not stop after the destruction of all value and meaning and succumb to be to the following nothingness this alternate active nihilism on the other hand destroys uh, to level the field for constructing something new this form of nihilism is characterized by Nietzsche's as a sign of strength a willful destruction of the of the old values to wipe the slate clean and lay down one's own beliefs and interpretations contrary to the passive nihilism that resigns itself with the decomposition of the old values this willful destruction of values and the overcoming of the condition of nihilism by the constructing an, uh, of new meaning this active nihilism could be related to that Nietzsche elsewhere calls a free spirit or the Ubermensch uh, from thus spoke uh, Zarathustra and the Antichrist the model of uh, the strong individual who posits his own values and lives his life as if it were his own work or of art it may be questioned though whether active nihilism is needed the correct term uh, for this instance and whether Nietzsche takes the problems nihilism uh, poses seriously enough Heidegger's interpretation of Nietzsche many postmodern thinkers who investigated the problem of nihilism as put forward by Nietzsche were influenced by Martin Heidegger's interpretation of Nietzsche it is only recently that Heidegger's influence on nihilism researched by Nietzsche has faded as early as the 1930s Heidegger was giving lectures on Nietzsche's thought given the importance of Nietzsche's contribution to the topic of nihilism Heidegger's influential interpretation of Nietzsche is important for the historical development of the term nihilism Heidegger's method of researching and teaching Nietzsche is explicitly his own he does not specifically try to present Nietzsche as Nietzsche he rather tries to incorporate Nietzsche's thoughts into his own philosophical system of being time and design in his nihilism as determined by the history of being 1944-1946 Heidegger tries to understand Nietzsche's nihilism as trying to achieve a victory through the devaluation of uh, the until then highest values the principle of uh, this devaluation is according to Heidegger the will uh, to power the will to power is also the principle the principle of every earlier valuation of values how does this devaluation occur and why is this nihilistic one of Heidegger's main critiques on philosophy is that philosophy and more specifically metaphysics 
has forgotten to discriminate between investigating the notion of a being Zion and being Zion. According to Heidegger, the history of Western thought can be seen as the history of metaphysics uh, and because metaphysics has forgotten to ask about the notion of being. What Heidegger is called Zion's Vergessenheit it is a history about the destruction of being. That is why Heidegger calls metaphysics nihilistic. This makes Nietzsche's metaphysics not a victory over nihilism, but a perfection of it. Heidegger, in, the, in his interpretation of Nietzsche, has been inspired by Ernest Younger. Many uh, references to Younger can be found in Heidegger's lectures on Nietzsche. For example, in a letter to the rector of Freiburg University of November, November 4, November the 4th, 1945. Heidegger, inspired by e e Younger, tries to explain the notion of God, God is dead, as the reality of the will to power. Heidegger also praises Younger for defending Nietzsche against a too biological or, or anthropological reading during the Third Reich. A number of important uh, postmodernist thinkers were influenced by Heidegger's interpretation of Nietzsche. Gianni Vattimo points at the back and forth movement in European thought between Nietzsche and Heidegger during the 1960s. A, a Nietzschean uh, Renaissance began culminating in the work of Mazzino Montinari and Giorgio Colli. They began work on a new and complete edition of Nietzsche's collected works, making Nietzsche more accessible for scholarly research. Vatimo explains that with uh, this new edition of Kali and Montinari, a critical reception of Heidegger's interpretation of Nietzsche began to take shape. Like other contemporary French and Italian philosophers, Vatimo does not want or only partially wants to rely on Heidegger for understanding Nietzsche. On the other hand, Vatimo judges Heidegger's intentions authentic enough to keep pursuing them. Philosophers who Vatimo exemplifies as a part of uh, this back and forth movement are French philosophers. Deleuze, Foucault and Derrida, Italian philosophers of the same movement are Cacciari, Severino and himself. Habermas, Lyotard and Rorty are also philosophers who are influenced by Heidegger's interpretation of Nietzsche. Postmodernism. Postmodern and post structuralist thought question uh, the very grounds on which Western cultures have based their truth, absolute knowledge, and meaning, a decentralization of authorship. Uh, the accumulation of positive knowledge, historical progress, and certain ideals and practices of humanism and uh, enlightenment. Ja Jacques Derrida, whose deconstruction de is perhaps most commonly labeled nihilistic, did not himself make the nihilistic move that others have claimed. Derridian deconstructionists argue that his approach rather free texts individuals or organizations from a restrictive truth and that this construction opens up the possibility of other ways of being. Gayatri, Catravorti, Spivak, for example, uses this, constru the, this construction to create an ethics of opening up Western scholarship to the voice of the subaltern and to philosophies outside of the canon. Of Western texts. The reader himself built a philosophy based upon a responsibility to the other. The deconstruction can thus be seen not as a denial of truth, but as a denial of our ability to know truth. It makes an epistemological claim compared to nihilism ontological claim. Lyotard um, argues that rather than relying on an, uh, on an objective truth or method to prove their claims, philosophers legitimize their truth by reference to a story about the world which is inseparable from the age of and system 
the stories belong to referred to by Lyotard as meta narratives. He then goes on to define the postmodern condition as one characterized by a rejection both of these meta narratives and of the process of legitimation by meta narratives. In lieu of meta narratives, we have created new language games in order to legitimize our claims, which rely on changing relationships and mutable truths, none of which is privileged over the other uh, to speak to ultimate truth. This concept of the instability of truth and meaning leads, and meaning leads in the direction of nihilism, uh, though. Lyotard stops short on in, of embracing the latter. Postmodern theorist Jean Baudrillard wrote briefly of nihilism from the postmodern viewpoint in Simulacra and Simulation. He took mainly to topics of interpretations of the real world over the simulations of which uh, the real world is composed. The uses of meaning was an important subject. The uses, sorry, uh, of meaning was an important subject in Baudrillard's discussion of nihilism. The apocalypse is finished today. It is the pr procession, proce uh, procession of the neutral, of forms of the neutral and of indifference. All that remains is the fascination for desert-like and indifferent forms for the very operation of the system that annihilates us. Now fascination in contrast to seduction which was attached uh, to appearances and to dialectical reason which was attached uh, to meaning. It is a nihilistic passion par excellence. It is the passion proper to the mode of disappearance. We are fascinated by all forms of disappearance, of our disappearance, melancholic and fascinated such is our general situation in an era of involuntary transparency. Jean Baudrillard, Simulacre and Simulation on Nihilism Trans 1995. Television. Thomas Hebb suggested that the show Seinfeld is a manifestation of nihilism in television. The very basis of the sit sitcom uh, is that it is a show about nothing. The majority of the episodes focused on minutia, minutiae. Uh, the view presented uh, in Seinfeld is arguably consistent with the philosophy of nihilism, the idea that life is pointless and from which arises the feeling of the absurd that characterizes the, the show's ironic humor. Dada. The term Dada was first used by Tristan Tsara in 1916. The movement which listed uh, from approximately 1916 to 1922 arose during World War I, an, e an event uh, that influenced the artist. The, the Dada movement began in Zurich, Switzerland, known as the Niederdorf or Niederdorfli, in the Café Voltaire. The De Dadaist claimed that Dada was not an, an art movement but an anti-art movement, sometimes using found objects in a manner similar to found poetry. The anti-art drive it is thought to have stemmed from a post-war emptiness. This tendency toward devaluation of art has led many to claim that data was an essentially nihilistic movement. Given that data created its own means for interpreting its products, it is difficult to classify alongside most other contemporary art expression. Hence, due to its ambiguity, it is sometimes classified as a nihilistic modus uh, vivendi. Modus, modus vivendi. Literature. Autumn Chek, 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 
Shekhov portrayed nihilism when writing Three Sisters. The phrase, what does it matter for such var var variants, is often uh, spoken by several characters in response to events. The significance of some of these events suggests a subscription to nihilism by uh, said characters as a type of coping strategy. In the graphic novel Watchmen, the character, the comedian Edward Blake, is characterized as being a nihilist, both moral and political, to the extent of openly committing murder in order to demonstrate the lack of human concern or nerve, stating that Dr. Manhattan could have stopped, it, uh, stopped uh, him at any moment, but chose not to. Dr. Manhattan is also portrayed as a nihilist on the cosmic uh, scale by stating if the earth was destroyed and all life on it eradicated, the universe would not notice. The comic book's uh, supervillain, the, the Joker, has been portrayed as both an anarchist and a nihilist typically by condemning life as a meaningless, harsh joke, living through such a life to him is crazy, while the insane ones are truly the normal people. In Batman 663, the clown at midnight, the Joker says, the real joke is your stubborn, bone deep conviction that somehow, somewhere, all of this makes sense. That's what cracks me, me up uh, each time. And during the killing joke, he, he goes as far to call everyone's ideals and struggles in life a monstrous, demented gag. In the manga graphic novel series Bleach, the Spada Wilquiora ciphers aspect of death is nihilism. In the novel Atlas Shrugged, a Rand Con, uh, condemns nihilism quite aggressively. The philosophical ideas of the French author, the Marquis de, de Sade, are often noted as early examples of nihilistic principles. Music. In Act 3 of Shostakovich's uh, opera, Ladies Macbeth of the Mitzengst district, a nihilist is tormented by the Russian police. A two, two, uh, 2007, 2007 article uh, in the Guardian noted that in the summer of uh, 1977, uh, Punk's nihilistic swagger was the most uh, thrilling thing in England. The Sex Pistols' God Save the Queen, uh, with its chant-like refrain of no future, became a slogan for unemployed and disaffected youth during the late 1970s. Black metal music often emphasized nihilistic themes. The Nine Inch, Inch Nails all album, The Downward Spiral, has several nihilistic themes and concepts throughout the overall storyline, with the narrator rejecting, rejecting the world and the concept of God and attempting to forge his own versions. With lines such as God is dead and no one cares if there is a hell, I'll see you there. Although other lines such as you get me closer to God suggest the narrator finds meaning and faith once more through, uh, through his sexual sexuality. Nihilism is also the name of a song released by the band Rancid in, the, in their 1994 album Let's Go film. The character John Marler from Peter Van Green's, Green's Ways, 1973 novel The Medusa, Touch, and the 1978 film version holds nihilistic beliefs, as does the character Animal Mother from Stanley Kubrick's 1987 uh, film Full Metal Jacket and the Ruthless Thug, O Dog, from the 1993 film Menace second society by the Hughes brothers. Three of the antagonists in 1998 movie The Big Lebowski are explicitly described as nihilists. 
but are not shown uh, exhibiting any uh, explicitly nihilistic traits during the film. The 1999 film The Matrix por uh, portrays the character Thomas A. Anderson with a uh, hallowed uh, out copy of Baudrillard's treatise Simulacra and Simulation in which he stores contraband data files under the chapter on nihilism the 1999 film Flight Club, sorry, Fight Club, also features concepts relating to nihilism by exploring the contrast between the artificial values imposed by consumerism in relation to the more meaningful pursuit of spiritual happiness. Okay, uh, thank you for your uh, patience, okay, and we here we end with nihilism until next uh, video. Thank you for your companion very much. Until the next, have a nice night. Good night for you. have been identified by commentators of nihilistic uh, at various times in various contexts. Um, nihilism or nihilism is also a characteristic that has been ascribed to time periods. For example, Jean Baudrillard and others have called postmodernity, uh, postmodernity, modernity. Uh, uh, nihilistic uh, epoch and some Christian theologians and figures of religious authority have asserted that uh, postmodernity and many aspects of modernity represent a rejection of theism and that rejection of their theistic doctrine entails uh, nihilism or nihil nihilism or nihil Uh, nihilism or nihilism. From the Latin nihil, nothing, is the philosophical doctrine suggesting the, the negation of one or more uh, putatively meaningful aspects of life. Most commonly, uh, nihilism or nihilism is presented in the form of existential. Uh, nihilism, which argues that life is without objective meaning, purpose, or intrinsic value. Moral uh, nihilists assert that uh, morality does not inherently exist. Nihilism. Um, uh, forms of nihilism. Um, metaphysical nihilism. Metaphysical nihilism is the philosophical theory that there might be no objects at all. That's that there is a possible world in which there are no objects at all, or at least that there might be no concrete objects at all. So even if every possible world contains some objects, there is at least one that contains only abstract objects. Uh, an extreme form of metaphysical Nihilism is common, commonly defined as the belief that nothing is e exists as a correspondent component of the self-efficient world. One way of interpreting such a state is that any established moral values are abstractly contrived. Uh, nihilism or nihilism, nihil, nihilism, nihilism or nihilism can also uh, uh, take epistemological or ontological metaphysical forms, meaning respectively that in some aspect knowledge is not possible or that uh, reality does not actually exist. The term is sometimes used in association with anomi oh, to explain anomi, to explain the general mood of despair at a perceived 
pointlessness of existence that one may develop upon realizing there are no necessary norms, rules or laws. Movements such as futurism and disconstruction, among others, have and would be, it is impossible to distinguish existence from non-existence as there are no objective qualities and thus a reality that one state could possess in order to dis discern or to discern between the two. If one cannot discern or discern existence from its ne negation, uh, then the con concept of existence has no meaning, or in other words, does not exist in any meaning, meaningful way. Meaning in this sense is used to argue that as existence has no higher state of reality which is arguably its necessary and defining quality. Existence itself means nothing. It could be argued that uh, this belief, once combined with epistemological 